we have heard a lot of stories about the mid-Asian ibex hunt in Kyrgyzstan. But we couldn't understand why hunters so much appreciated those animals, as well as the travel to the other side of the continent, risking their lives for some kind of mountain goat trophies. Back, back. This time, we decided to travel there ourselves and find all the answers. First morning, very exciting. The horses are ready and the guys are right now preparing targets. So we're going to try our rifle and uh, Nero going to try a bow. So let's see. We still let. All right. <laughs> Yeah, 50 meters. Yeah. yeah, 60 yards. 60 yards. Yeah. And we are going. Somewhere up those mountains, already a bunch of Ibex up there. We see it from the base camp. But I think we will have three guys and inspector with us, four guys and two of us, and probably we'll pack six horses. At that moment, we were sure that the hardest part of our expedition was over. Now to find our trophies and go home. What we didn't realize is that the real journey had only just begun. Home for tonight and probably for one more night. I'm not quite sure how how long our batteries and cameras will last because uh, we came here and we don't have any charging generator with us so we need to make it back to the base camp but we will try to be here as long as possible. We have a group of Ibex, like 30, 30 Ibexes up on the other side of the mountain so we're gonna try early in the morning. are stealing my oxygen in the mountains already. Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we will probably slept for a couple of hours last night. I don't know, because of the pressure or... Okay. Let's get up and get some Ibex today. Oh, shit. The camera is frozen. <laughs> Finito. Huh? Ta-da! What is that? Minus 16. No? That's your temperature tonight. It's not so bad. It looks much cooler. No, it's fine. Oh, shit. Maybe we're gonna have some hot tea tonight. This morning, I mean. The next day, hundreds of eyes safely watched us from the top of the mountains. They already knew that we were here. Ibex have eagle eyes, sharp hearing, and a good sense of smell, which makes these animals so difficult to hunt. Ibex put it. Put it, put it. 
English cross. Yeah, it's a pretty stressful situation. They are running around and they spooky and you have to be pretty fast, jump from the horse, take a rifle and stick it down. Distance is like three, four hundred meters. Let's try. Да, это было рядом. О, хороший козерог был. Хороший, да, хороший козерог. Fingers crossed for Vidas. We are making a stalk. For an Ibex we spotted maybe a kilometer away from us. And he will try to get it done with his rifle. They are behind that hill, so he tried to sneak close. Even though the billies were all over the mountains, we couldn't get in close enough range to make a precise shot with either a bow or a rifle. Smart animals choose bedding and feeding places in front of open fields, making it next to impossible for us to get closer. On the last morning, our guide suggested using our last opportunity, and it was necessary to make a long range shot. We weren't sure who was happier, the hunters or the guides. The guides explained that these killed animals mean a lot for them, their country, and for the rest of the Ibex population in the area. Because of foreign hunters like us, local people have jobs and food. Some of the poachers turn into guides and help stop others from poaching. This small sacrifice is an act of conservation for the rest of the Ibex population. Eventually, we found all the answers. It is not the trophy which people come for. They come for the adventure, to test and challenge themselves against nature. The trophy is just a reminder that they successfully passed another one of Mother Nature's tests. Mm -hmm.